Hi Drake. So basically you must be my uh, younger twin brother. I saw your video the other day on the uh, water filter and it reminded me of the one that I use. Uh, but I figured it'd be easier for me to make a new one to show you rather than trying to find and dig out the old one. The parts with this is an O-ring 2 inch, uh, 2 inch PV coupler, a piece of 2 inch PVC about 3 eighths of an inch long, and a 4 or 5 inch long 2 inch piece of PVC along with a Brita filter. All this stuff dry is about 265 grams or 9.3 ounces or 0.584 pounds. Now I'm not going to use the new one on this, I'm going to use an old one. But basically it just goes together. The O-ring goes into the coupler, pushed up against the separator. Filter goes in, and then the small piece of uh, PVC ring just goes in there, pushes it down in. Now, usually, I just use this piece to set it. Now, for storage, I store it like this a rubber band. In my other one, I also have holes drilled here to make it easier to pull this off because this goes on the top like that. And this becomes my water chamber. Not just the way it goes. Sets on my my bottle. Just take some water, pour it into the chamber. And it comes out the bottom. It drains pretty fast. Now I, use, I like to use Clorox to purify my water. This is water that's already been run through whatever purification I do, either boiling or Clorox. And like I said, I like to use Clorox because it's a little quicker and less messy, but I never like the taste. And Brita filters say that they remove chlorine and the taste. So that's why I started using these. So when it gets empty, just pour in some more. comes through, fills up, and basically just like yours, have some sweet tasting water to drink. So thanks for showing me yours. I showed you mine. Catch you later on, brother.